Well, hello folks out there in YouTube land. Got an interesting show for you. Yep, Kentucky won anyway. It was so many lane timeouts, so many lane Kiffin timeouts. It was unbelievable in that game. Somehow Kentucky won on the road against one of the hottest teams in the country. And there must have been a dozen timeouts uh, for uh, Ole Miss. Every time Kentucky got a first down or had any type of splash play, anything that got their momentum, suddenly somebody would go down with an injury. Allegedly. And it was always a cramp, and it was perfect timing. You never saw an Old Miss uh, defender get hurt whenever they'd get a sack. Never, never an injury then. If they stuffed Kentucky, no injuries. But if Kentucky got a 20-yard pass play or an 18-yard run play or any type of splash play, boom, Old Miss would have an injury suddenly. And you had to stop everything, let the defense catch their breath, let the defense get set up, slow down the offense, take away their momentum, and get a fresh timeout basically for free. And I wonder how that always happens with Lane's teams. It just somehow magically happens. It is the weirdest thing. And here's the most recent one. Hey, go down, go down. Hey, go down. Oh, 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 I'm hurt. Oh, I'm hurt. Have you ever seen such a quick injury just out of nowhere? I, I, I'm afraid somebody must have shot him from the stands. That was amazing. It was like immediately after he heard the quarterback who was doing, go down, go down, and he heard him verbally, oh, oh, boom, and he went straight down. Wasn't that amazing? That has happened so many times with Lane Kiffin and his team. And I got to give it to Coach Stoops for not doing the exact. He should have done that to him every single time Old Miss got a first down. He should have had one of his players get a cramp. That would be the only fair thing to do because you obviously can't stop Lane Kiffin from doing this. Allegedly. The referees saw that. The announcers saw it. They called him out on it. It's like, oh my God, th that's ridiculous. It's so obvious and unethical. It's a Lane Kiffin timeout. It literally should be in the dictionary. Under Lane Kiffin timeout, it should say, the faking of an injury in order to stop play, eliminating momentum for the other team, and thus giving Old Miss a chance, or any other Lane Kiffin coach team, a chance to catch their breath. That should be the definition, because it's so obvious. And the NCAA sees it. They've seen it multiple times, to where either Kiffin's over there doing this to a player and he suddenly goes down, or the quarterback does it, or whoever, the assistant coach, and this is, you know, you can call this my opinion. You can call it whatever you want. I got eyes. I can see what's happening. It's, it's fake. Allegedly. And it just looks fake as crap. And it's bad when the announcers are calling you out for it. It really is. And we saw it uh, at Oklahoma uh, last week. The Vols did. We saw it twice where uh, Oklahoma had fake injuries. And one of the linemen for Oklahoma would look over to the sidelines, and as soon as he'd get the signal, he would just fall right on the ground. And it was right after Vols had some splash plays. We are, we're almost used to it at this point because we like to go fast. Well, Lane Kiffin also likes to go fast, so he knows how effective it is. So it's like he not only does he use it to his benefit, he'll use it against you even though Kentucky doesn't go fast. He just knows that it's an advantage, so he's going to take advantage of it. It's a Lane Kiffin timeout. I don't know that it can be stopped because everybody's so afraid to question the injury, but when you literally see the quarterback talking to the guy and doing this, I mean, it's it, they don't even fake it good. They don't even fake it. You would think the quarterback wouldn't do this. He would just say, go down. Mm. Hey, go down. We need a timeout right now. Go down. Well, do that. Nobody would see it. But when you do this and when Lane does that, we know what that means. So anyway, congratulations to Kentucky winning this ball game against all odds, 20 to 17. Brock Vandergriff had a good game, 18 for 28. Jackson Dart, 18 for 27, 261. They both had a TD. You look at the team stats, it's pretty equal, 330 to 350. Passing yards similar. Kentucky had more first downs, and Kentucky didn't have any turnovers from what I can see here. I don't recall any turnovers, and I know uh, Old Miss actually had a couple, but they only lost one. Oh, Kentucky did have the one fumble where the guy was on the two-yard line and the wide receiver caught the ball and fell into the end zone. So they did catch that break. 
But anyway, I wanted to cover this. Congratulations, Kentucky. You had everything in the world going against you, and it wasn't fair play. Now, look, home field advantage is normal. You know, they're allowed to yell and scream. I don't have any problem with that. Old Miss, knock yourself out. But the fake injuries and the uh, free timeouts is getting really old. I wish the NCAA or Greg Sankey would step in and do something about this. But, hey, it's Lane Kiffin. It's what he does. You can't stop him. You just can't. He's like Rambo or something. It's over. Nothing is over. Nothing. You just don't turn it off. You can't stop Kiffin. He is going to break the rules. It's the way it is. Take it from a Vols fan. We know how Lane is. Anyway, if you like this content, be sure to hit that like. Sorry, old Miss. Look, sorry, old, you're probably going to lose him to Florida anyway because they'd love to have a guy like that. They don't care about rules. But um, I'm sorry y'all are going through this. But at least you're winning, so you do have the fun of that. Except today. If you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's know. Continue to cover all these big college sports stories and the nonsense. If you've not subscribed, boom, 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 hit this little button right here. Won't cost you a dime. And right over here is the most recent video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. And we'll see you next time on Sports Talk J. And congratulations, Kentucky Wildcats. You get an extra thumbs up.